that's this. You can think of it that way. And then once you've said, right, I've heard enough, you then have a choice of what you're going to do. Are you going to, you know, go down to your, your treasure rooms and throw her a handful of gold? Are you going to, be, are you going to say, well, stealing is stealing after all. Let's just, um, let's just dispatch with her throw in the dungeons. May not be terribly popular, that decision, but there you go. Or you could say, you know, okay, let's just let her off. And I re this is all about you being ruler, you being feeling that, feeling power and feeling the ability to actually pass judgments on the land. And think of those judgments, everything from, everything from the most trivial crust of bread being stolen to, indeed, you know, huge uh, country, countrywide thing. You know, shall we go to war? I'll inspire you to uh, think that way. So judgments are a completely new mechanic. The other new mechanic that we've got is called touch. And this was really important. And this, this, this idea of touch came about from you being ruler. And, you know, we were thinking about the old expression system in Fable. And many of you journalists parodied this old expression to, uh, system of where when you're, you know, you're doing an expression, you can dance on the spot. I was going to do it then, but I'm not going to now. You could, you could break wind, which us English people find enormously funny. And we probably sold 20% more copies just because of that. Germans don't find it funny at all, um, quite understandably. <laughs> and, um, you know, the, that was fine. And we'd done 50 or 60 of these expressions. And, the, you know, they were involving doing chicken dances. And we were kind of thinking... Well, I wish we do expressions with Fable 3. I mean, now you're king. It's not really going to be applicable doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk on your throne. I mean, it's you know, funny. It's going to make people laugh. But you're not going to feel that sense of power. So we came up with... We started experimenting with something called touch. And that is the ability, the interesting thing, is... In Fable 1 and Fable 2, and in many, many games for me, you, the, the main character feels t completely detached from the world. It's very, very rare that you see game characters, you know, physically touching people. And certainly in Fable, in Fable 2, you know, okay, you could stroke your job, but it didn't really feel like you had a connection. Well, why don't we change that in Fable 3? So, let's give you this example. Let's say when, you've, when you're wooing somebody, which was funny and charming that you could, you know, do, do a dance in front of the woman and she would kind of fall in love with you instantly, but it really wasn't what I would call gameplay. Well, now we've got this new system of touching. So when you first meet someone, sure enough, you can shake their hand or you can refuse to shake their hand. Later on, you earn the right to turn that uh, shaking hand into a into a hug. Um, later on, that you turn that hug can turn into an embrace. And later on, you can earn, you know, her, do, earn a, you know, full passionate snog. Um, then why? I won't tell you where it leads to, but you don't need to use too much of your imagination as to where this touch mechanic can lead to. I'm not saying there's cupping, by the way, but um, you know there is, you know, that feeling of embracing and touching, which is, so, which is so important. And once we've got that, suddenly you start to feel much more connected. You know, imagine this scenario. Imagine you come into your throne room and you're passing judgment and your son or daughter storms into the room and says, Daddy, Daddy, you know, look, I've got a new toy castle. And imagine being able to reach out, hold your arms out and embrace that child, your child. How does that make you feel? That is such a human emotion. So we are, in, we are installing this one-touch mechanic. But it doesn't stop there. Because once we had that touch idea, there's another magical thing that happened. And it's called dynamic touch. And what dynamic touch enables you to do is it enables you to, at any time to reach out and touch someone to hold someone's hand, to, to pull them along 
to, to, to walk side by side, to be pulled by them, to be able to take the person that you love onto the top of a cliff top and hold their hand and look at the sunset. To be able to, and I want you to leave you with this thought, and again, this is all about being ruler, it's all about touching people as ruler and how that makes you feel, but it's also about moments like this. Imagine, imagine hearing the cries from a young child in the house, and you as a hero, as a, you know, as a ruler, or even on the journey to rule, you storm into that house to save that child. Now, in Fable 1 and Fable 2, you could rush up, and you'd go up to this child, and it would come up on screen saying, press A to save the child. Yeah, that's not too good, really, is it? Once you've got dynamic touch, rushing up to that child, grabbing them by the hand, then pulling against you because they're too frightened of the flames, you getting, you getting you know, part way through the burning house, the burning house collapses, there you say, no, no, I can't go any further. You using dynamic touch to cuddle them and reassure them. Again, pulling them out of the situation. And then eventually being able to pick them up and hold them in your arms and run through the door to, to everyone outside seeing how amazing you are um, that you saved this child. That's more like this sense of emotion that we want. Being able to... to, to being able to touch people as ruler and see how they react, that's, that's more what we want. So there's a little, some little clues of those gameplay mechanics. Now I w I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tease you with how we're doing this. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty big thing on the touch mechanic and that's only one tiny sliver of, what, of the, the new gameplay that we're um, uh, we're going to be un unveiling. And so that's not the big thing, that, the big puzzle that I set you out. So, Fable 3 will be coming out in 2010. Don't expect it too early in 2010. In 2010 on the 360. Um, and we're still working very, very hard on Milo and Kate. Really, that's the end of you know, my announcements. You know, the big announcement is Fable 3. Really, please, again, judge us on how, far from, how much more we introduce into the into Fable, and you know, please enjoy the sense of power that we're going to give you with Fable Three. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, one, one more thing. I am actually going giving a talk at uh, one o'clock, where I'm going into some more detail about choices and consequences. Um, well, I will be going through um, how that mechanic has, uh, has come about in the past and, you know, talk you a little bit more in detail of what I've talked about. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Let's just get out of here.